Find and explain the x-intercept and y-intercept of the graph and determine the graph's domain and range. Okay, my y-intercept is here and my x-intercept is here. Okay, my domain would go from here. My domain would go from here to here, wouldn't it? My range would go from here to here, wouldn't it? So my domain goes from here to here, and my range goes from here to here, okay? So let's do over here. My x-intercept is going to be 18, 0. And this is 18 minutes, right? 18 minutes. Ah, spell minutes, right? 18 minutes equals a height of what? Of 0. So if I hike for 18 minutes, my height is zero. An input of 18 outputs zero. That's why it's called a zero. Okay? This is also your zero with it. Now then my y-intercept is right here and it's zero comma three hundred or zero comma three hundred and sixty. Your y-intercept basically is the starting number or the beginning height. So the beginning height, or you could put at zero minutes zero minutes they are 360 feet high or the starting uh, that's just your starting height okay starting height lots of ways to write this of 360 feet or the initial height of 360 feet somehow it's going to be the starting amount okay now then your domain starts at zero and it goes to 18 and the way you write that is using inequalities so this means my x is more than zero but my x is less than 18 okay so my x is any number between zero and 18 you always go from the least to the greatest and this is always less than always always less than least to greatest and less than symbols so my height is going to start at 0 and go to 360 in it. But my height is not x, it's what y, right? My range is, right? And I'm going to use less than or equal symbols. So this is how you write any number between 0 and 360. This is how you write any number between 0 and 18. Real, real simple.